Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. July 4th. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. How dare that guy be angry? Totally wide open borders, government stealing pension funds worldwide, banker bailouts in the hundreds of trillions, total authoritarianism being publicly set up. Well, it's bizarre to get upset about all that and have our whole future destiny destroyed by a bunch of anti-human eugenicists. Who would want to politically blow up something like that? By Paul Revere, he said to arms to arms, get ready to kill people that are trying to enslave us. But when I got up and told Piers Morgan a year and a half ago to go to Hades, we knew he was there for gun confiscation. Why, it was radical. It was evil. It was outrageous. Because if you let one ant stand up, they might all stand up, and then there goes our way of life. We ought to play that clip coming into the next segment. Well, I'm sitting here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, listening to the show uh, over at my folks' house with the family. You're saying, oh, you're on the radio. No, I'm not. This is an original first hour of the July 4th, 2014 transmission that I'm taping Thursday afternoon. And then we've got a retransmission of a very powerful interview we did with David Icke. I think one of the best ones ever coming up in the second and third hour. We've had a lot of requests to rebroadcast that. And then I'll be back Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. with a Sunday transmission. And I got in here with a copy of the Declaration of Independence. And I got in here with a bunch of news articles. And what I think I want to get into is just how America has changed and what a police state we are versus where we should be going. And while the police state is pointed at the American people... The border is wide open and illegal aliens are being given free welfare and bust in anywhere they want to go in the country, showing the whole war on terror and the quote Al-Qaeda threat is a giant joke. We know it is. We're not saying there aren't radical Muslim terrorists out there. What we are saying and proving is criminal globalist interest in NATO, Saudi Arabia, our government, you name it. Maybe Israel. Netanyahu came out last week or a week and a half ago and said, oh yeah, we need to help ISIS you know, take over Iraq, it'll destabilize the Muslims. Destabilize them? Putting one of the worst groups, if not the worst Al-Qaeda group, in charge of Iraq that we went and overthrew to put an elected government in that's been pro-America? Compared to ISIS, they are. I mean, that's an evil policy. And when I came back through customs this week from a vacation, I mean, I ran into the customs guy because they put this big cross on the computer printout I got in the first kiosk I went through, basically like a harassment no-fly list. And the, and the guy knew who I was was a listener and said, this is outrageous, and it literally started cussing. And he was a veteran, and then it had come back into customs after 9-11 because a family member got killed. And he was a listener, and he was shaking with anger. Shaking in anger. And here's the other good news. I'm not tooting my horn. I didn't tell this the other day when I got back, Wednesday. The customs guy I talked to in Grand Cayman, where your bags come up, the head customs guy, he was the boss there, said, oh, Alex Jones, I was listening to your show yesterday. And uh, you know, said he really appreciates what I say and what I do. And then I ran into two cops that were listeners, and I got mobbed. I mean, I've never been mobbed like this in uh, Austin. That's the closest other place. In the middle of the Caribbean, south of Cuba. Again, I'm not saying I'm a big shot. What I'm saying is freedom is incredibly popular. So on July 4th, 2014, I want to give you the good message. Yesterday, we had uh, Professor Daryl Hamamoto on. The incredible he contacted us and said, I've heard that name before. I've seen him all over TV. Uh, you know, he's a sociologist, I guess you call it anthropologist, political scientist. And he's just basically Rockefeller Foundation originally, you know, awarded. And he's an insider blowing the whistle and just conferring and, and augmenting with data everything we already know. And he said a bunch of the other professors know the truth and are about to go public. They're threatening his job right now, but he doesn't care. He was happy because that's the spirit of liberty. Thank you.
That's the spirit that can't be stopped. That's the spirit that gets me fired up. Because nothing makes me more angry than a bunch of bullies. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence. But to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at madein1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. And we are waging war on corruption. We are crashing to the lies and disinformation on this July 4th, 2014 worldwide transmission. Calls are coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to go into the archive of the second and third hour and have David Icke uh, retransmitted. A few weeks ago, he was on. I think it was the best interview ever. I keep saying each new interview is the best ever, but they, they just get better and better. So that's coming up. Then I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. You know, I want to read a little bit from the Declaration of Independence, and I forgot to get it out of the printer out there. They'll bring it to me in a few minutes. But there's a part in there. We tend to forget the Declaration of Independence exists, but, but it's as important or more important than the Bill of Rights and way more important than the Constitution. I mean, we think of the Constitution as all those documents, but the Constitution isn't as good as Declaration of Independence or Bill of Rights because it had all the states involved, the former colonies in 1798, and, and, and there was some lawyer stuff snuck into there. 
it, it's still diametrically opposed to tyranny. The globalists hate it and demonize it 24-7. It's just not a fount of goodness uh, like the Bill of Rights or the Declaration of Independence. And here it is. Down in the second paragraph, it says, Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for lighter transient causes. And then they go on. And that's if you really studied history, most revolutions turn into something worse. Hell, they have, you know, revolutions all the time in African countries, it generally gets worse. There's no stability. Uh, they have them in, you know, Latin America all the time, it just gets worse. They've had them in Europe and things just got worse. <clears throat> One reason Europe had the Renaissance, and I'm not calling for culling of the population, but the elites mainly lived in the cities. About half the population, it's estimated, on the high end, a third on the low end, died in the Great Plague, or waves of the Black Death, bubonic plague, and it wiped out so many of the elites that they couldn't spend all their time for about 100 years persecuting everyone out in the countryside and making sure no one sold goods that weren't stamped by the king. The monopoly, the crony capitalist. The crony capitalists were busy getting bled and taking all their quack cures while the people on the countryside, practicing what they called witchcraft, it really wasn't herbs, lived. You know, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes to ashes, we all fall down. Is that how it goes? That's correct. That's how the song goes. That's a song about you get the red marks, you die. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes to ashes, we all fall down. It wasn't that Europe had ever really been any better than anybody else. It's that they had some of the Roman technologies still in the government facilities and the church facilities, but not widely distributed. And so then once government got brought down, some of that knowledge got out. The people created a middle class. And it was off for the races. And it was still wars and disasters and all sorts of problems. But that's why Western culture, to dumb it down, has been so powerful and so important was because ruling elites got wiped out. And you had a revolution of the people, kind of like a new frontier. Like the American frontier experience in Manifest Destiny had all its own problems, but for all of its issues, there were a few cases of groups being able to have freedom away from government and to have a wildcat economy. So it created the most inventions, the most science, the most freedom in comparison to the other tyrannies. But I'm kind of gone off the deep end ranting about that. The point is America has been exceptional in much of its history. Exceptionally bad and exceptionally good. And it wasn't Americans that said that. It was other people around the world. And they wanted to get here because it was so much better. Now we're going the way of stagnation, of gang-run government, of oligarchy, of a kleptocracy, of truly totalitarianism or total tyranny. And so there's a real hunger for freedom again, but there's an establishment understanding that there is that hunger, so they're trying to suppress it. But everything you try to suppress ends up just exploding. You try to bury the truth, it explodes that much stronger. To use a cheesy line from episode four of Star Wars, the tighter you squeeze, Governor Tark, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. These are cliches but they're true. And so governments shouldn't be changed for light or transient reasons, transient causes, to quote the text correctly. But when you've got a eugenicist-based, new world order, globalist-based, truly anti-human, psychopathic system, playing everyone off against each other, trying to dumb the population down, it isn't a right, it isn't a duty, it is an absolute survival imperative that you resist it. And you resist it peacefully because the pen is mightier than the sword as long as you can. But there may come a time, as Winston Churchill said, where you have no other choice but to physically resist it. And that is why the American people instinctively are buying guns and food and preparing, not because they want to fight. They're saying, just leave us alone, you know, to quote Howard Beale in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my still belted radios and, you know, we'll leave you alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. We've got to get out of our trance. 
I don't have all the answers, but we've got to get out of our comfort zone. We've got to get mad. We've got to say, I'm a human being. My life has value.